Now, is there a is there a non Christian basis for forgiveness? Pragmatic. Okay. Yeah. So just to be example, able to assuage your own anger, essentially. Yeah. The two the two secular approaches to forgiveness. One I call therapy. It's in the book, by the way. Right. Let's talk about the book. <laughs> Uh, one is called therapeutic, and one I call merited transactional. Um, the therapeutic one is the one that you most heard about, and what most secular books uh, that call to teach you how to forgive, let your anger go, let go of it. It's all for you. It's all like it's not healthy right. for you to stay angry, and you need to let go, and you need to get by, get get past it. And it's there's no real concern for the perpetrator, and there's no real concern for society. You know how you know, it, it's all a matter of how can how can you have peaceful emotions, and that's pragmatism. That's not like it's right or it's wrong. It's not like it's uh, valid or invalid. It's like uh, forgiveness is something that you need to you need in order to have peace of mind. Uh, the merited forgiveness is where it's trans or transactional is where you demand i'll forgive you if you change oh okay and only if you change and only if you change enough and grovel enough hmm. to show that you have really um been uh in some ways that you have suffered as much as you made me suffer Oh, okay. So merited forgiveness is where, uh, you know, if you come and you have hat in hand and you do this and this and this and this, then I'll forgive you. And again, that's very um, pragmatic. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a way of, of basically demanding that you get uh, a certain amount of uh, both emotional and, and behavioral change on, in the, on the part of the other person. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I can just see why uh, some people would say if the forgiveness is I'll forgive you if I see you suffer, too, oh. and you've groveled and you hate yourself and you beat yourself up and you've done all this and you've mm. made retribution, re restoration, retribution, not retribution, but, you know, you, you've uh, made a restitution. And um, then, in a sense, you're you're paying the person back which was was yeah. ironic about merited forgiveness and no, martha nussbaum um who's a secular philosopher very prominent university of chicago i think has written a couple of books uh against forgiveness because her, the, mm. the forgiveness she sees in the culture is she says it's not really forgiveness what you're really saying i'll forgive you if you do this and this and grovel enough and it's really basically a way of paying a person back mm. under the heading of forgiveness so that you don't look like you're being vengeful, but you actually are. Well, so the next question then from your book, Forgive, Why Should I and How Can I? Why do you describe forgiveness as a test of our belief and understanding of the gospel? Well, the, the forgiveness that the Bible talks about is a, uh, a forgiveness that I do think has two parts to it. Uh, now, uh, my departed dear departed friend David Pallison wrote a book called Good and Angry, and he does a really good job in there to explain that there's two aspects to forgiveness, that the two, the two, different, um, two different verses, you, when you read them at first, they seem to be contradictory, but when you bring them together, they give you a, 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 an approach to forgiveness that's based on the cross. It's not the merited transactional forgiveness we talked about where you're basically paying the person back, but they grovel enough uh, before you forgive them. And it's not the therapeutic where you just do it for your own sake. Um, Mark 11.25 says that Jesus says, if you're standing and, you re and you're praying and you realize you have anything against anybody, forgive them. So it doesn't say go to them or anything. He just says, forgive them on the spot. And yet Luke 17, uh, Jesus says, if a person comes and repents, you forgive them. And if they repent seven times, you forgive them seven times. And that seems to be saying that you don't forgive unless they repent. Now, what David Pallison says is that unless you bring the two together, you fall into one mistake <clears> or another. <throat> the one mistake is you say you forgive that person, but then you don't have to go to them and talk to them at all. 
it's all something you do in your heart on the other hand you um you very often people say you don't have to forgive somebody unless they come to you and what what david says is you internally forgive them first so that you are saying i'm going to go to them but i'm not going to be trying to pay them back i'm not going to be trying to make them grovel i'm going to try to get them to see the truth out of out of love for them and the honor of god so you forgive them internally first and then you seek to open their eyes and maybe even reconcile and so he would call it internal forgiveness and then external uh, relational forgiveness where you're trying to repair mm -hmm. And that way you have on the one hand, um, you, you are concerned about justice because you're going to the person you want to say, do you, do you really see that you've done something wrong? And you're trying to get the person to change for their sake, uh, for the sake of maybe other victims, for God's sake. But first you've actually forgiven them already in your heart. Now, I think that ability to both forgive and to seek justice at the same time proves that you have really understood what happened on the cross because on the cross jesus christ um, satisfied the justice of god and yet at the same time procured our mercy and grace uh, and salvation at the very same moment so that's a long answer let me try to you knock well you knocked out three of my questions just in that one answer so thank you go ahead well, in a nutshell uh you both forgive and seek justice just as on the cross jesus christ both forgave and fulfilled justice yeah. and it's fascinating that in the world uh you either have the therapeutic approach to to it where you are just forgiving in order to help yourself right. or the transactional approach where you're really not forgiving them but just for forcing them to grovel oh. or the idea that no I'm, i can't forgive at all i just have to seek justice right only the cross that brings those together 